Hey coaches, welcome back to another Editor Max Overview video. I'm John, and today I'm going to walk you through the different types of folders that Synergy is going to have inside the editor and how that's going to allow you and your staff to quickly save as well as locate any video that you guys are trying to find quickly and efficiently. Where we're going to start is actually just going to be up here at these four tabs at the top. So we're going to have uh, our custom edits open. One thing that might uh, be affecting you if you're not seeing your folders over here on the left hand side is this arrow just go ahead and click that and that'll pop open your custom edits folders so what's important about custom edits and this is a, a primary function of synergy is that these custom edits are going to be edits that I've created these are not necessarily seen by every single person in my organization these are only permission to myself unless I choose to go ahead and share those with other users so these edits uh, are going to be found just only on my accounts uh, as well as the folders so when we hop in here what we have the ability to do is come in here and view any of our folders at any time so if we have up here just the general custom edits tab selected we're going to see all of the folders or all of the edits, excuse me, that have been created either by myself or sent to me by someone else in my organization. To create a new folder, it's very, very simple. So what all we have to do is come over here, and if you hover anywhere on the tab, you're going to see this plus icon pop up. If we want to create a new general folder just under custom edits, we'd click here, and we can just go ahead and name it and we can either press enter or press OK what you're now gonna see is a folder and these folders again are gonna primarily work just like the ones on your average everyday computer so under custom edits we now have a demo folder open and when we go back to our custom edits we could say OK this practice clips edit with 16 clips we now want to put it into the demo one folder to do that all we'd have to do is drag it and drop it right into that folder and when we click on that folder we now see that that edit is directly in there going along with this we also can create folders within folders so subfolders so within this demo we might say we want to have example a so we go ahead and click that so now within demo one we also have example a we can collapse that we can also expand that so we don't have to always see the folders um, or the subfolders of our main folders but if we wanted to come back now and say okay we're in our custom edits we also need this synergy or the sharing video edit into uh, example a so what we're going to do is just simply drag and drop now when we go into our demo one we have our practice clips and now we also have our edit in here for our sharing video as example A. Where this is going to be very helpful is when you're organizing video. Do you organize your video based off of pre-scouts of opponents, based off of uh, your players? However you do it, you're going to have the option to come in here and really set this up in an easy to find way for you and your organization. For example, if we did it by opponent or by player, we could come in and say player number 10. Press OK. We'd see that this pops up here inside demo one. And inside this demo, we're also just going to do player number five. So now we're going to have these two folders here and if we go back to our custom edits tab we can easily just grab the edits we want and drag and drop it directly into that player's folder so now when we click on that player we know we're only going to have the clips that we want specifically associated with them now that we've gone over the different folder options inside custom edits and how you can easily drag and drop any edit into any folder you also can come into your folders and have that same type of drag and drop functionality so if you want to rearrange any of these you easily can just by dragging and dropping how these uh, edits are, are shown you'll go ahead and rearrange this similar to the same type of functionality you would have when you're rearranging the uh, folders directly on your computer moving over here 
uh, we're going to now go into timelines. So within our timelines, we're going to have the same type of functionality that we did in our custom edits folder. So this is really, again, a way for you and your staff to organize your video in a way that's easy to find uh, for you. Do you like to organize your practice video based off of drills? You could have that here. You can even, you know, break it down by specific timelines, you know, regular season video, all the same type of functionality that you had in the custom edits folder is going to be available right here. So if we wanted to come in and add any timeline folder, we could just come in, click the, the plus button, uh, plus button up there, come in, just go ahead. We'll just go ahead and name it demo one again, press that. And now we're going to see the demo one folder right here in our timeline, which then we could just easily go ahead and drag and drop in here. This is really, in my opinion, a great tool within Synergy because I've, I've seen staffs label video based off of date, based off of drill. And no matter what it is, all of this can be edited to fit you and your staff's needs. So, um, I've shown how we, you know, create these folders. Once you create these folders, they all can be edited. So one thing I'll point out is if you single click on any of these folders, it'll go ahead and pop open uh, the, the text box there where we can go ahead and change any display we want. So if we didn't want this to say editor desktop, we could just say editor, let's just say synergy, go ahead, press enter, and that'll just go ahead and change the name. So this is just a single left click on any of these folders, similar to the functionality when you're renaming anything inside of Synergy, just a single clip, click will go ahead and open that box and allow you to go ahead and change the name. Within our edits ourself, there's also gonna be right click functionality. So if you ever wanted to right click uh, in here, you can also create a new folder as well as delete folders, even start a new timeline directly from the right click. So this type of functionality is going to be here um, really in all of these screens throughout the Synergy application. The last tab we're going to go over uh, for our folders is going to be in the templates tab. So if we click over here, um, to me, this is a very, very beneficial place to go ahead and use the Synergy folders. When you're creating templates, it's nice to have templates for different occasions. Are you cr creating a template to tag a practice, to tag a pre-scout, uh, whether that's on an opponent? Are you scouting a new potential player? Are you cutting a game live? Are you cutting uh, a game post-game? Um, what are you looking for in the game? There's a lot of reasons that a staff would have multiple templates. And as you can see here, if you're coming through and looking at a template, looking for a specific template, I'm sorry, it can get a little cumbersome. You know, we do have the tool over here that allows you to go ahead and get a preview whenever you click on any template and you can actually see what that template is. But what another nice tool for our coaches uh, to have is actually the folder system as well. So being, a, being able to come in here and organize their templates by any way that their staff sees fit. So do you want to organize your templates for practices? So we could come in here and say, this is a practice template. Now under our tagging templates, we have a practice tab. And as we come in here, let's resize this again. You can drag anywhere really inside the Synergy app to resize it. Makes it easy to kind of get the layout that, that you prefer. Um, so you're never kind of stuck into, into anything that they give you. So, as we resize this, we can start to say, okay, you know, here's one that, that, uh, that Bryce created. We want to use this as a practice template. So we can go ahead and just drag it and drop it. And now it's right in this, in this practice folder. What's nice about our templates as well as our timelines, uh, these are shared across your organization. So you, as well as anyone else on your staff is going to be able to come in and see these templates. So let's just say you have assistant coach a, you say, Hey, you know, I really need you to go, you know, cut the film on this specific player, use this template. This is the information I want to see. I went ahead and saved it under the practice folder inside of our team's, uh, template tab. Okay, great coach. I can go ahead and do that. Once you come in, all you would have to do is open your templates tab, click down to practice. You would see this template that they have. Again, if I click on it, I would get this full preview of it and I can see exactly who created it, when it was created and when it was last updated, as well as the name and everything with it. 
Um, but again, it just makes it very, very easy for you and your staff to organize all of your work. Uh, there's nothing more, uh, I would say frustrating, um, than having to go through, look for specific edits, look for specific timelines, even templates. Um, next thing you know, 20, 30 minutes has gone by that could have been invested into your specific workflow and getting you, you know, out of that office a little bit earlier, getting that video out to the players or other staff members a little bit quicker. You know, everything we want to do in Synergy is, is meant to save you time and make your, your day to day process a little bit easier. And that doesn't stop with the folders. You know, it's, uh, it can be a little bit cumbersome taking the time to set this up, but we're very confident if you do, you're going to see a, a great increase in your productivity, especially when, you know, like I've said, trying to go ahead and locate access that video, uh, get it out to your players, get out to your staff and get working on it very quickly. Once again, we thank you for tuning in to another Synergy uh, Editor Max overview video. Again, I'm John. Uh, we look forward to speaking with you again, and we hope you take advantage of the folders with inside the Synergy Editor. Thank you so much.